Let's look at the service you'll complete every 250 service hours, also known as PM1 maintenance. Required service varies by machine, but here's what to expect for a CAT D6 XE dozer. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. First, move your machine to a dry, level surface. Let it coast to a stop because this will help later when checking track tension. Put your machine in park, lower implements to the ground, and lock out the hydraulics. Walk around your machine to look for any leaks, rust, or other damage. For all maintenance, you can order everything you need at parts.cat.com. Enter your machine serial number to see which parts you need for your machine. This is also where you can find the self-service options for your equipment. SSOs provide detailed service instructions and recommended parts and tooling. Now, let's go through how to complete PM1 maintenance. First up, take your SOS services engine oil sample. The sample needs to be taken while the engine is running and the compartments are at operating temperature. Open the right side engine access door and use your new SOS kit to take the sample. Next, shut off the D6 XE electrical system so you can safely inspect it. Check enclosures, cables, harnesses, and ground straps and cables. Replace missing hardware, clean off built up debris, and make any necessary repairs. You'll check the oil level and the left side access door. Wipe around the engine oil level check before removing the dipstick. Check the level and add more if needed. Inspect the track shoes on both sides for loose bolts and other damage. Now you'll check the tension of the tracks using a string and measuring tape. Stretch the string over the grousers from the sprocket to the front idler. Measure at each of these dips you see in the track. Average the two measurements and check that value against your OMM. If the track is too tight, release grease through the relief valve. If the track is too loose, add multi-purpose grease to the adjustment valve. To check final drive oil levels, move your machine so that the oil level mark is horizontal. Remove the magnetic plug and wipe off any built-up deposits. Note that it can be normal to see some metal shavings on the plug, but always refer to your SOS services results to determine if there are wear issues. The level should be at the bottom of the filler plug opening, so add more if it's low. Repeat those steps, repositioning the machine as needed on the other final drive. Next, check pivot shaft oil on both sides of the track. The level should be at the bottom of the threaded hole, so add oil if needed. Now you'll replace the fresh air cabin filter if needed, which is on the back left side of the D6 XE cab. Unlock the clasps and pull the filter down, making sure there is no debris left in the housing. Install the new filter and fasten the clasps. In the right side engine access compartment, inspect the serpentine belt and replace it if it's damaged. Up here, check the ROPS FOPS bolts to make sure they're secure and look for any signs of visual damage. If your machine is equipped with a winch, replace the oil and lubricate the roller and fair lead assembly. If you noted any damage or other issues, be sure to service your equipment and make sure all compartments, guards, and ladders are back in operating position. Turn the electrical system back on to complete your PM1 service. For more information and support, contact your CAT dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.